Okay, so first guys, I want to just say a huge congratulations for um, all the effort you've put in and, and making it to the quarterfinals. This week was a lot more challenging, I feel, because not only did you have two songs to learn, you had two videos to do as well. So, you know, you've all stepped up, you've all delivered, so you should all be really, really proud of yourselves um, for what you've achieved tonight. So, we looked at Joey's category first. Um, so KD were first up. Um, your slow choice wise up. Um, I did notice that there were a couple of times in there where you were sort of like slurring your words. So just be really, really careful, especially sort of like it was at the beginning of the sort of like sentence then that you were missing that very first word. Just pay a little bit more attention to your diction is so important. The, um, the, you I thought they were really, really nice. They were really, really beautiful. Um, you had a nice couple of rifts in there as well. And I like the fact that you added a backing voice onto it to, to build the song towards the end. I'm not sure that that song was the right song for you, but I really liked, you know, the little things that you did with it. Chandelier, for me, was the better of, of the two performances tonight. I liked the fact that we got to see a falsetto in that. Be careful on up tempo songs, make sure that you've got sort of like um, enough breath so you can fit all of the lyrics in because in, in certain places I, I feel like you were either trying to change the song too much or dragging out um, certain phrases so we, we weren't getting the next sort of like follow on phrase wasn't coming in on time. So just, just be careful with that. But I think it suited you a lot better than the, um, the slow choice that seemed to have you seem to be more confident when you're when you're belting. Another thing, just don't overcomplicate, um, especially with up tempo songs. Don't feel like you've got to change it up this way and that way because um, sometimes it can be too much. But you know, um, the two nice performances, so well done, Rachel. I think you've had a really, really strong week this week. I think this week is probably your strongest week. I thought both songs, um, Burning Pile and Heart of Glass, were very, very clever and very, very different from each other as well. Visually, I really liked the sort of... Uh, I've, I, I like what you did visually with, with um, Burning Pile, um, how you sort of like captured the vibe of the song. And you you can tell you've really sort of um, got creative this week, which was fabulous. Um, so the first song was really dark and then the second one second one was really fun but you managed to keep that sort of quirkiness and still remain true to who you are so i think this week was sort of like shining moment for you because it was like this this girl can see where she needs to go now vocally and you're embracing that so that was that was really really good vocally and confidence wise i think you really really shone this week so you should be so proud of both of those performances lacy the bring him home was just, it was just beautiful. I loved the visual. I loved the fact that, that you tried to sort of like recreate the scene in your head and then on, on the camera. I love the fact that you had that vision. Your lower register, I really loved the dramatic vibrato that you had when you were in your lower register. Really, really like an um, old school sort of a vibe that you've got going on. And I thought emotionally, you captured the emotion in the vocal and executed it perfectly. I, I, I thought it was, it was one of my favorite vocals of yours because of how, how much you told a story with it. So, and then obviously we went on to River Deep, which is a really fast song. And I know you don't do upbeat, but this was really, really powerful. And I like the fact that you've chucked yourself out of your comfort zone and you've rose to the challenge. I loved the attitude. I loved the sassy vocals. I loved the hand gestures. Your belts were amazing as always, but it was really, really nice to see the fun side of you and to see you have a little bit of fun with, um, with the song. So well done. So onto Louise's category. Dan, I think you really, really stepped it up this week. Oh My Girl was just so simple, but really, really effective because we just got to hear your voice. Um, there was sort of like nothing going on to deter us from just your vocal uh, and it, it was the perfect song choice for you to show off what you can do. I love the fact that you added harmonies later on in the song to sort of build it. I thought it was, I thought it was really, really well put together and definitely um, uh, one of your best performances. Then I believe in a thing called love. It was nice to see you having fun. You looked like a rocker. You really got into it. 
I love the fact that you um, showed off your falsetto because that came across really, really strong and something I can definitely see you um, using more of in the future. Um, you added some lovely rifts in there as well. So both performances, well done. Molly, not about angels. I thought the piano um, on that was really, really pretty. And I think not only are you developing vocally week in and week out, but you're develop developing as a musician as well because your piano skills are just humming on so nicely. Um, and you can actually hear where you're going to be in a couple of years when you've when you've sort of like perfected everything because I know obviously you're still at that stage where you're finding yourself but when you've perfected that I think uh, um, th the combination of the two is is, is going to be um, amazing I'm I love the thickness in your voice the maturity and for me not about angels was my favorite vocal of yours to date um, one last time I feel was maybe the wrong song choice for you with fast songs, especially this one, I felt like um, you needed more control over your breathing in the verses because it was almost as if you didn't have enough time to get all of the words in. So it felt very sort of like out of time slightly and maybe a little bit rushed. But then obviously when you got to the chorus, you felt a lot more confident and you, you belted it. Um, for me, I preferred the slow choice because I think that's who I see you as is, um, you know, like... Um, a piano behind the piano singing that's that's where your vibe is so for me the slow song worked better but the fact that you rose to the challenge and did something that you don't usually do with the up tempo you should be proud of yourself well done sam never enough um i love the fact that you're learning um how to control that vocal and you you're becoming quite reserved in places because it shows that you're getting just the the right amount of light and shade now you're learning sort of like to tell a story not just you know sing everything at one level so i really liked that fact i wasn't overly fond of how you changed the melody in places purely because it just felt like it was being sung wrong if that makes sense it didn't sound like the me it didn't sound like it was intentionally meant to be changed so I think if you want to change the melody, it, it needs to be a little bit more obvious, maybe a little bit more um, dramatic then that, you know, that's what you're doing. Because it just, it for me, it didn't work. But I've got to commend you for trying. Um, I know that song has been sung a lot, so trying to do something new with it, 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 was, it was worth taking a risk for. Um, Twist and Shout, the same as Never Enough, they're not really quarterfinal songs, in my opinion. And I feel like you're better than these songs um, so I feel like we've taken a step backwards this week with song choices I uh, would have liked to have seen you done something more along the lines of what you did with the Billie Eilish you know you were modern you were current you were unique uh, and I, I lost that this week I feel but you pushed your vocal on twist and shout which was great it was nice to see you pushing and that high scream note was nice um, so it's nice to see you developing in that area so well done Zoe say you love me um, you had some really lovely rifts in there and I haven't heard you t use um, a, the technical side of your voice a lot. So that was really nice to introduce that. Um, I love how you flip into your falsetto. It's so effortless and so beautiful. I thought it was a really, really great song choice. And um, the subtle parts, um, you know, where you were at your most vulnerable throughout that song and your head voice, I thought they were absolutely stunning. I thought you executed that song absolutely beautifully. And you are, you have, you've had a really good week this week and you've, you've been stepping up week in and week out. Um, and then obviously like rumor had it was so completely different. Um, we got to see, um, just this sassy side to your vocal. Um, and the one thing I picked up on was it was quite a full track. So you had like a lot of backing in it on the um, instrumental behind you, but it didn't drown you out. Your voice didn't get lost. It just showed that you could really hold your own vocally. I loved the fact that you ad-libbed over the backing vocals. Um, yeah, two absolutely fantastic performances. Well done. So moving on to my category now. First of all, Zach. Uh, with Parting Glass, I I actually really, really loved that song on your voice. The I, I, I thought it was amazing that you went a cappella. Uh, it's not easy to sing a cappella, and especially to sing it all the way through like you did. But you gave this, it was, I don't know how to explain it, it was just very sort of, it was a humbling performance then. It was, it was similar to when you did Blackbird, it was very, you know, because it was so sort of like eerie then, if that makes sense. 
you could have been singing that at, at a stadium, you know, and, and all of the audience would have been quiet. It had that sort of um, effect on it. Heartbeat. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I don't know what happened this week with the you know, up-tempo choice. I was so excited to hear a little bit of Black Sabbath and then we had that song instead and it was very disappointing. Uh, I don't think your voice worked well with that track. Um, and I think if you listen to it back, I think you'll see sort of like where we were coming from with that. Um, it, it came across as a little bit shouty. Um, uh, it just clashed so much. Um, but, you know, you 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 tried something new. Um, Parting Glass was amazing, so be proud of it. Charlotte, my mind, I didn't actually write anything down uh, at all. I was just too caught up in listening to you. Um, the agility in your voice is insane. Um, I, I just... I, I just I love everything about your voice, the tone, what you can do with it. You've you've just got one of these naturally appealing voices. It's it makes people sort of like shut up and want to listen. It's naturally emotional, you know, the way that you you run through your rifts so easily and so effortlessly. It was just it it was a very captivating performance. And then on somebody else's guy, your your vocals were again flawless but you had this confidence and this sass that I haven't seen before and it was absolutely amazing to witness that because obviously you've seen you in the competition before and this was such a huge thing for you to overcome was to get that confidence and have fun with the song so to see you actually doing that smiling you were having fun that was a moment for us to see and one that you should be incredibly proud of and not afraid to bring to an actual stage when you get that opportunity because it was, it added so much to the performance. So um, don't ever shy away from that. Sienna, um, congratulations, because you've actually taken on everybody's comments about, you know, a certain jazz style suiting you. And you've you've stuck to that. You've, you've taken on songs, both songs this week, that were going to suit your ability. So you've played to your strengths. So well done for that. Um, toxic, I liked. I like how you've got that natural slide to your voice I like how um, I like where your voice goes the song in itself I find is a little bit on the boring side I, and I, I that's not taking nothing away from your performance whatsoever I just the, the the song's a little bit flat but I liked what you did with it I like the fact that you held your own vocally it's not an easy song to sing at all you've got to be really really controlled and really really on pitch and i thought that you handled it very very well so just it was another performance that showed how far you've come from that first audition so be proud um and then all about the bass i loved because you had this light airy sound in the verses you just seemed to have a lot more fun you seemed a lot more relaxed in that one and it was it was fun to watch it was a it was a really really great song choice for you and like I said I'm just I'm I'm so impressed that you've taken everything on board and sort of um, tried to take on songs that have a uh, play into your strengths because that's just that's all all about growing as well so well done so overall I think it was a really really successful quarterfinals I think you should all be proud of yourself I know somebody has to leave this evening um, but congratulations to all of you and I look forward to seeing the, um, the rest of you in the semi-finals Thank you.